Alright, hello there ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to some Pokemon. In the last episode, I uh, said I was going to train off screen, did that, didn't really realize a few things. One is that Bellsprout uh, evolves at level 21, that was an accident, so uh, yeah, we got a Bellsprout, uh, we got a banana evolved into a Weeping Bell, that was uh, not intended. Uh, I also didn't realize that uh, Bonsly needs to learn Mimic to evolve, so I literally wasted, uh, wasted him, because... You literally don't get, um, the thing for, you know, you don't know. Anyway, yeah, you don't, uh, you don't get the, what is it, the, the, the move relearner, there we go. The move relearner doesn't come into play until, um, until, like, the last city. So... We can't even use him anymore, so... Well, we could, and he could be a Bonsley forever, but I would rather prefer not to. Anyway, which floor are we gonna go to? We're gonna go to basement floor one, because I completely forgot that this was a thing. That we could go into the basement. Basement warehouse, open to the customers. Or, not open to the customers. I honestly don't remember what she said. Anyway, yo. Machoke, move that container for us. Uh, thank you, sir. I'm gonna go in here and steal your merchandise. Found an Ultra Ball, actually. That's very useful. Probably won't be useful for a while because I probably won't run into anything that, like, I really need to use it for. But there we go. Got another item. What is this? We got an Ether. Very nice, very nice, very good. And let's get him to move his other Machoke. There we go. And we got a dude back here, actually. Hmph! <laughs> I've been found! Here, have a taste of my Claydol's awesome teleportation abilities. Wait, what the hell? What is this? Oh. I don't... I don't think this is normally in the game. Um. It's a microwave oven. Oh my god, so this is... Dude, this is where you get Rotom. Or, I don't know if this is where you get Rotom. But this is where you can transform Rotom into his different forms. We got... Heat, uh, flying, I guess it's, wait, is it Rotom Heat? Yeah, it's Rotom Heat, I think, maybe it's not. Rotom Fan, Rotom Refrigerator, I can't remember, Rotom Wash, Rotom Mo. Yeah, huh, that's crazy. Alright, so if we ever find a Rotom, we can transform him into these various things. That was really weird. I guess we're gonna... Let's go back down there, because I kind of wanted some stuff. Um, I think there was... Yeah, there was one more item that I didn't get. Yeah, we want to go to B1F. Take me to B1F. Thank you. Not open to customers, yet you're just letting me go down there. Makes sense to me. Alright, so let's not talk to this guy this time. And just pick up our ball, or our item, which is a burn heal. Which could be pretty useful because, um, what is it? Ghost types, because the next gym is ghost type. Ghost types are, uh, often use the move, uh, Will-O-Wisp. will o wisp And, uh, I really don't want to deal with that. Alright, uh, 1F. 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 Alright. So... I decided also, um, I decided I want to try and evolve Eevee into a Glaceon, uh, which I need to do to le before level 23 because it learns a pretty good ice type move at level 23. Um, also, by the way, I bought some things. I bought, uh, bought a couple leaf stones. I think that's the only thing I bought. But, uh, we have this Woodland Ore, which I'm pretty sure evolves, uh, what's his face? Um... Evolves Eevee into Glaceon, or not Glaceon, into Leafeon. But since I don't have any Ice type Pokemon and I have too many Grass type Pokemon, I wanted to do uh, to make him Ice type. But I don't know where I get the Ice Ore, so uh, we're gonna hold off on that until we find a uh, find the Ice Ore. Or I can always look it up and be like, oh hey, I missed it. So that's probably what I'm gonna do. Also, I accidentally fought that guy last time, or well, I was, not last time, while I was training. And we got a random encounter. What is this? We got a skun tank or a stunky. As much as I want to use this thing, catch uh, like ever, I really like stunky. I, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna use it purely because I have like a billion poison types right now. 
So like, if we can find something that's not poison type in here, I'll probably catch it, or I might catch it, I don't know. Because, um, I know for a fact you can catch Nidorina and Nidorinos here, but I don't want to catch either of those. Um, wow, uh, Sleep Powder will work, actually. This is before they made the change that grass types can't get affected by powder moves. But I don't want to catch those because they're poison type, but I want to catch them because I really, really like Nidorina, Nido Queen, and Nido King. So, I'll think about what I'm going to do with that. Anyway, we have nothing super effective against them, so we're going to go to old Roosevelt. Because, uh, also, um, in the last episode, or at the end of the last episode, my mom called me and she said she got some items. The item she actually gave, or the item she, one of the things she bought from me, at least, was a, um... Ah, oh, crap, what's it called? Silk Scarf. It was a Silk Scarf. Which I gave to Roosevelt, and now Roosevelt has powered up normal type moves. So that's really actually pretty useful. She actually bought something useful for once, and that's really nice. Anyway, Paris fainted, Mikey getting some experience, Roosevelt getting some experience. Venonat is going to be up next. We're going to go back into Mikey, because I want Mikey to level up, because Mikey also levels up at level 21. Uh, just like that Bell Sprout that we that I accidentally level up off screen. Um Earth power, when I was training, in this area at least, because um, I was training in the grass right before here, I know that earth power turns into seed bomb, which isn't going to do anything to this thing, because it's quad resistant. And we missed, and it's got confusion, and that's super effective. Alright, that's a little annoying. Sleep powder, come on, uh, come on. There we go. Alright, so poison bug. I don't have any rock types, I don't have any fire types, I don't have any psychic types. I don't know what to go into. We'll go into Sobek. We haven't used Sobek for a while, even though he's our starter. Sobek, come on out. Your jaws can defeat anything except for bite. Oh, right. I forgot I got Ice Fang. Let's see. Uh, let's compare Water Gun, because Water Gun is Stab, but it's also Special Attack. Actually, even Stab, it should be weaker than Ice Fang, because Ice Fang is 65, Water Gun's 40. 40 times... 1.5 is 60. Yeah, Ice Fang does more. Ice Fang is actually their strongest move right now. Huh. That's nice. Plus, there's a chance to freeze and a chance to flinch. It's like, such a good move. So good. Such a good move. Anyway, Sobek. Getting a little experience. Bug catcher Arnie. Arnie, as in Arnold Schwarzenegger. I'll trade phone numbers with you. Ah, man, I can't. Nah, man. Battle me again. That'd be, that'd be interesting. Um, I can't do a good Arnold Schwarzenegger. I can't do a good Arnold Schwarzenegger. This is the best I got. Yeah. That's all I got. That's that's the best Schwarzenegger I got, and it's not good at all. But we found a Moonstone. That's nice. Um, do I have anything that evolves with a Moonstone? I can't remember. And what is this? We found TM66 Payback. This is a Dark type move. A pretty decent Dark type move. Uh, it's 50 power, and if, uh, you hit s and if, if, by chance, you go second, and they hit you with an attack on the first turn, you also, uh, do an additional, you do double damage, there we go. Alright, so here is a place, uh, heard about the bug catching contest. We could do the bug catching contest right now, but I really don't feel like doing that at this point in time. So we're gonna go into the national park, and we are going to fight some bitches. Because that's what I feel like doing. Um, there's some cool Pokemon you can catch in the National Park, especially with the um, with the uh, bug catching con contest in the original game. At least you could catch like pincers and uh, can't remember what they're called. Uh, pincers and scythers, which I am a very big fan of. Pincer and scyther. Um, I don't think I ever won. I think I might have won the bug catching contest once, but. I can't exactly remember it, because I know the bug catching contest is stupid, and, um, uh, that's gonna hurt, probably. Ooh, that did hurt. But, uh, I know the, the, there's this really stupid thing in the bug catching contest where, um, your Pokemon gets points based on not only what Pokemon you have, like certain Pokemon, like Pinsir and Scyther, for example, they're harder to catch. They are, um, they're, they give you more points in general. But they have this really stupid rule where Pokemon that are 
uh, how do I put this? Pokemon that are healthier, there we go. With higher health, you know? And you're not allowed to heal the Pokemon you catch either for the book catching contest, which is really stupid. So, Pokemon with higher health give you a lot more points. Because of that, I'm gonna glare this thing, I guess. Because of that, uh, I would always lose even when I caught, like, a pincer because some asshole with his l fully health, full health Caterpie beat me because he had a full health Caterpie. And it was dumb, and I hated it. And I think I might have won once because I was like, you know what, I'm just gonna catch a full health Kakuna or something like that. And that's how I won, and I hated it. And it was dumb and stupid. And that's the way it were was. That's just the way it is! Yeah. Anyway, Humpty, uh, also, I forgot to mention, Humpty learned Tri-Attack while training off-screen. Very nice move, very good, especially for a normal type. Do, 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 do. Charm is not gonna help you, Granbo, because, um, I, uh, I'm a special attacker and I'm using a special attack. Not physical, uh, special. Extra sensory is gonna do a bit of damage. Doesn't kill it! Damn, I should've just used Try Attack again. I almost said Try Gun again. Try Gun's a good anime, you should watch that. Pretty, pretty good. Bash the Stampede, motherfucker. Anyway, Grand Bull goes down. That took a while, hopefully that gave me a lot of experience. 438. But Mikey, getting to 21, will instantly learn Mega Drain. Definitely gonna teach him Mega Drain. Uh... Over Razor Leaf. Because it does, I'm pretty sure, have better special attack. Let's go, Mikey, gonna learn that drain. Humpty also getting a lot of experience. Um, Humpty evolves via friendship, so... It'll be a while before he evolves, probably. But here we go, ladies and gentlemen, Mikey is evolving! Ba -ba -da -ba -ba -da -ba -ba Congratulations, your Mikey evolved into Gloom! And I also learned Drain Punch? What? That's a good move, so I'm definitely gonna teach it. I'd rather have Sleep Powder than Stun Spore, so we're sticking with the Sleep Powder. Drain Punch? Interesting move to have on a Gloom, because I don't think Gloom has very good physical attack, but still, who cares? Drain Punch is an awesome move. Pokemon is so cute and adorable, I just love it. Wanna trade phone numbers? It'll be so much fun to chat. No. Uh, anyway, I'm gonna heal up, so I will be back in just a jiffy. Alright, we are back with a fully healed team. Also, I swapped Gloom out. I swapped Gloom and Eevee out because I don't want to level up Eevee. Also, hold on. Can I just, like... Can we just appreciate this piano music for a second? I'm a big fan of the piano. Anyway, you want to take my picture? Nah, 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 nah. We're not doing that. You want to fight? Uh, nope. You don't want to fight. Alright. Anyway, yeah, I swapped uh, Gloom and Eevee out for Firo and Spiritomb because I felt like they would, one, be good for the gym, and two, uh, I didn't want to use Eevee anymore because I want him to level up. Or, I, I want him to level up. I want to be able to evolve him into a Glaceon at level 23. So, anyway... Who do we have here? Hello? Why are you staring at me? Oh, a battle. Yes, a battle. I mean, I could evolve him into a Leafeon right now, but I really don't want to. Anyway, we got an Oddish. We got a good old no Pepper out front with the Intimidate cut in the attack. And um, Acid's probably not going to do very much. It is a special attack. And also, this thing is neutral, so Stun Spore, that's annoying. And I just realized something. I'm pretty sure I have the bell that, um, if you give it to your Pokemon, makes it more friendly. And I have not been using that. Seed Bomb is probably not going to do very much because it's resisted. Yeah, six. That's not too bad. And no pet are going to go in with a headbutt. Button heads. And one more of those should do the trick. As long as it doesn't fully paralyze me. Come on. Yes, there we go. No full para. I honestly have no idea when uh, Ekans evolves, so that'll be uh, that'll be random whenever that happens. It's probably like 25, honestly, but uh, we got a Gloom. Uh, let's go to Humpty, because Humpty does have that Psychic attack with the extra sensory, and since Gloom is a poison type, Gloom is weak to it. Although this Gloom, I just realized, probably has Drain Punch also. Yep, should have seen that coming. Should have seen that coming. 
Oh my god, it got a critical hit. Critical hit, come on, extra sensory, one shot kill, critical hit, please. I believe in you. Wow, that wouldn't have even one shot if it was a crit. Alright. So, uh, to not take... To not, uh, take any damage from another Drain Punch, we're gonna go to Spear Tomb. Good old Tombstone to soak up that hit. Drain Punch ain't gonna do shice. And Faint Attack will then... He's gonna put me to sleep. That is not what I wanted to have happen. You know what, we're just gonna Hypnosis. Until we wake up, Seed Bomb's gonna hurt. Come on. Come on, wake up. Wake up, Tombstone, I believe in you. Seed Bomb is... It's not gonna hurt that bad, actually. 12 health. I guess that is a fifth of my health, so... Three more of those and I will die. But Tombstone can wake up and use Hypnosis, please. I believe in you, Tombstone. I believe in the heart of the cards. There we go, ladies and gentlemen. All you gotta do is believe in the heart of the cards, and all of your wildest dreams will come true. Dream Eater should finish this thing off, because strong move, super effective, pretty good special attack, I believe. And there we have it. Dream Eater takes it out. Boom, bada boom, bada bing. Getting a little bit of health back up. This might actually level Tombstone up, too. Humpty up to 22, and Tombstone up to 23. There we go, there we go. Player defeated last Crisse. Or Chris Chrissy, something like that. You you think I'm cool, right? So how about we exchange phone numbers? How about no? Let me see. Do I have I do have the soothe bell. Give. Why have I not put this on Humpty yet? This will literally just make it easier to have a better Pokemon. Alright, so we're gonna switch you down to there. Uh, we are going to item... Ah, uh, we can't heal from this. Um, actually, running a little low on time. I will... I guess I can fight one more person, probably, in this area. And then be done with it. Actually, I just realized I spent a few minutes... God damn it! I don't want to fight any wild Pokemon. Combi, interesting. You're useless because you're not a female Combi, because only female Combis can evolve. So, get out of here. I don't care about you. Uh, yeah, what was I saying? Uh, I do have a little more time than I just realized I did because I... Son of a bitch! What was it now? I should really just use these repels because I don't want... I don't want to catch anything here. I don't think there's anything that I can catch here that is... Anything I can catch here outside of the bug catching contest that I would actually want to use. So you, fight me. There we go. Anyway, what was I saying? I was saying something. Man, I can't even remember what I was saying. My blind rage just blinded me. I guess that makes sense. Blind rage blinded. So I'm going to uh, be a little risky here and go for bite. Because this thing very well may have a never mind one shotted get wrecked. Ekans coming up hot. Pseudo Wudo coming out next, and we're gonna go to Sobek, because Sobek can take that thing down a one too easily. One too easily? I don't even know. Anyway, Pseudo Wudo. Let's go for a nice. Ah, that's not what I wanted to do. That's, uh, that's not what I wanted to do. Low Kick's gonna probably do a decent amount. 10 is not as decent as I thought it would be. But, uh, whatever. Water Gun should take this thing. Oh my god, that did nothing! Jesus Christ, does this thing have an assault vest? That item doesn't even exist. That did a lot, that did 18. Two more of those and I will die. Come on, rock through. Don't get a crit. Oh, that did 19. Oh my god. Do I risk it for the biscuit? No. There's no risking it for the biscuit today. I got 20 fresh waters, ladies and gentlemen. Plenty of healing items. Plenty of healing items because they're cheap as hell. They're only 200. <laughs> Our throw's gonna hurt, but water gun. Let's see if I should have risked it for the biscuit. I should not have risked it for the biscuit. That's good. Mimic, he's going to now know water gun. That's useless for him. Anyway, Pseudo Wudo goes down. 
I think it's kind of funny that this guy has a pseudo Udo. And we're going to be seeing a pseudo Udo very soon. But 636 experience. That is a lot. And we got some money. We can send back to mom. Um, is there anyone else here who battles? I'm pretty sure there's an item somewhere back here. Uh, we need rock climb to get to that. Um, I'm gonna look for this item. But, uh, while I'm looking for it, I'm gonna say thank you guys for watching this. I hope you have a wonderful day. This music is just awesome. It's just so calming. There's the item I was looking for. No, I don't want to use that boat on this tree. What's this? TM28 dig. That's actually pretty good. I should teach that to something. But anyway, have a brilliant, great, awesome day, ladies and gentlemen. I'll see you guys all on the other side.